one pint of espatola chlor. We're talking sunflower pre-emergent herbicide. We're gonna spray three things out today. Same combination of chemicals I've sprayed the last couple years that gets pretty good results. For the most part, I can keep pretty clean sunflowers using these pre-emergents and one post-spraying of amazomox on the clear field sunflowers only. Dual Magnum, s -metolachlor. You can go up to two pints per acre depending on your soil type. Most of the label says slightly less, about 1.67, 1.7 pints per acre. I'm spraying half an acre, so I'm going to put a little under one pint of the s -metolachlor Dual Magnum on the sunflower field. In that same tank, I'm mixing Prowl H2O herbicide, Pendimethylum, Grass Control herbicide. You can go up to four pints per acre. Half an acre, I'm going to put out two pints of the Prowl. Spartan Charge is the third one. This is a more broad spectrum, broad leaf control herbicide to help with the thistle and the other broad leaves in that field. It's a combination of Carfentrazone and Sulfentrazone. For sunflowers, pre-emergence, you can go up to 10.2 ounces per acre. We've got half an acre, so I'm gonna put about five ounces in the tank. We're gonna be using our 40 gallon Femco tank here with the high flow pump on it and the boom sprayer. If you're interested in it, search the review video on my channel. I go through the whole thing. It's worked well for us in the past. I'm gonna put 30 gallons of solution in here. I can mix all three of those products in one tank. I'm gonna do one pass really slow and soak the ground. This Prowl H2O wants to be water incorporated so it wants a lot of water to flood it into the ground but we've got a three quarters of an inch of rain coming tuesday so we're going to be perfect time to get that prowl out all three of these put out a couple days before it rain is perfect timing five ounces of the spartan charge on half an acre next up prowl h2o we're going to put two pints on half an acre looks like baby diarrhea if you know what i'm talking about and last up here is our dual magnum S metolachlor, 16 ounces, one pint of metolachlor, half an acre. We are not putting in any surfactants. We don't need that. This is pre-emergence, not post-emergent. No surfactants needed. We've already applied all our fertilizer with a granular out there. I have figured out this equipment over the years, and for me, 30 gallons is plenty to cover half an acre. And I'm actually gonna go really slow and try to help flood this prow into the ground as much as possible. And by adding all this water in later, it helps it get really nice and mixed up. Got our boom closed off, agitator fully open, make sure everything's working. Let's go spray some pre-emergence on these Clearfield sunflowers. One pint of espatolachlor, two pints of prow, five ounces of Spartan Charge on exactly half an acre. I'm going to try and stay optimistic. A lot of these areas I come through and I don't see seed on the soil. Now if I dig around a little bit, I can usually find a seed down in here in these little rows right here, but then I'll get down to an area just like this, where seed is absolutely just dumped all on top of the ground. I've seen four or five areas like this, and I'm sure there's more, where that drill, the way it's set up is, it just kind of spills the seed down that tube. It is not placing these seeds. And this is what we're finding. A lot of areas that are just dumped in a row, then there was actually gaps where there's no seed for two or three feet. But that was not the machine for this job. But I'm gonna stay optimistic that there's enough seed still in these rows that's viable. $100 worth of seed. Can't resist covering them up. Time will tell. We have dumped seed in a straight row. We have taken our controlled spillage to a whole new level. I do not anticipate doing that again next year. This was certainly a learning curve this year. Just seeing if that cheaper option loaner equipment would work, time will tell. Now we're gonna go to that backfield that we're gonna be doing in brown top millet and do a glyphosate burn down. We just planted those sunflowers two a day ago, so they're not emerging yet, so I can go over that whole field with glyphosate, even though the sunflowers have already been planted. Won't hurt a thing. It'll knock out all the weeds, grasses, and take out the remainder of those oats that are still maturing and a little bit green back there. In about three weeks, if this field doesn't look like I want, 
with pretty decent stands of rows through here. I'll come in here, disc it really deep to turn that pre-emergent deep into the soil, and then top seed it with millet. That should allow that millet to germinate sitting there on the top if I turn that pre-emergent deep into the soil. I'm gonna give it three weeks to look good. Otherwise, plan B. And for this glyphosate burn down, I'm using a 41% glyphosate built-in surfactant, the same thing we use to do the sunflower and cornfield burn downs at three quarts to the acre going to come out to about three ounces to the gallon of solution. I am really, really curious to see how the no-till sunflowers do in this field. Because when I come down in here, there are furrows in here with sunflower seeds sitting right in them. And that seems to be the case for a lot of this. And this mulch cover from the oats and all are laying right on top of many of them. If you dig down in here, there's a sunflower seed sitting right there in the furrow with the mulch layer over it. I think that seed would germinate and it's definitely going to have the mulch cover to help retain moisture. So I'm going to be very curious to see how this whole field, truly drilled, no-till, does. The area what's going to happen is we're going to accidentally have a good stand of sunflowers back here where the true no-till was, where I just came in here and drilled it straight through the standing green detritus after all the work and effort we put into that long field to make it right watch this field turn out to be better. That's okay, I'll take it. Still may come in here and broad spread the millet and do kind of a dirty sunflower field where I've killed off the competition, let the sunflowers jump up and get a head start, then come back in here and lightly sow in some brown millet that I'll burn out beneath it later on. So who knows, it could turn out to be something pretty cool. But again, this year was a lot of testing, learning new equipment, trying new things, just kind of seeing what works. If it turns out using the no-till drill, drilling straight into oats or wheat or some kind of fall cover crop works, that's gonna be the easiest thing to do. All this mulch layer is gonna also help with weed suppression. So now that we spray and we'll burn off everything, the mulch layer will help prevent sunlight from getting down there and we won't have to use a pre-emergent. Corn is loving all the rainfall. I and mean, we have got really nice spacing. Again, this is a Eagle hybrid glyphosate tolerant field corn and germination appears to be fantastic. We went 20 pounds on three quarters of an acre and we've got really nice spacing. I don't think this corn is planted too tight whatsoever. This is three weeks after planting and we're about to go to two collar corn here in a little bit. Thank you for joining me on this one where we got the pre-emergent sprayed on the Clearfield sunflower field. Next episode, we'll be out here running and installing the electric fence around the sunflower field to help keep out the deer. We've already got some deer predation. We'll take a look at that as well as the germination seven days after planting. But until the next one, thank you guys for watching. God bless. Take care.